Hi guys, uh, we're here to talk about log properties, which I thought I had a video on, but I, I don't. So um, if you're learning about log properties right now, there's three big ones to consider. And uh, these are things, these are properties that don't just stop in Algebra 2, but they continue in pre-calc, they continue in calculus. And uh, surprisingly, log properties can be used uh, in cases where there aren't any logarithms at all, um, where you just uh, take the log of both sides and use them to basically break down uh, a big term, a big equation, an equation with a big term into several terms that are smaller. And, uh, you know, think about it as if you have one big term, instead of dealing with it on its own, you know, it's like getting in a fight with, you know, five guys at once or uh, getting in a fight with each one of the five guys individually, you know, one at a time. So uh, usually it's easier to deal with, um, you know, uh, something like that one at a time. So that's what the log properties uh, help us to do. So let me uh, share my screen with you and we'll get started here. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just write them down. Uh, here we go. Uh, so log properties. Uh, there's three of them. Uh, the first one tells me that you can do uh, uh, the log of A times B, and that is the same as the log of A plus the log of B. Uh, so it allows you to split up uh, multiplication inside a log. The second one is division, A over B, so log of A minus the log of B. So uh, multiply and addition go together, uh, divide and subtraction go together. The final one is with exponents, if you have log of A to an exponent of N, that exponent can come down as a coefficient, just like that. Um, so. Uh, you can either condense or expand. Uh, we'll do uh, both here. Um, and we'll start with expand. Uh, and this works for log of any base. It works for natural log. Everything uh, that you can think of uh, in terms of log bases, these three properties work uh, the same. So we'll start with log of, uh, we'll say, the square root of A times B to the fourth. Uh, by the way, anytime you have a root, you should consider writing that as a uh, exponent because we have a, a, a property about exponents. So that's a to the one half, b to the fourth. If you don't know how to convert uh, roots to exponents, I have a video on exponent rules. Definitely should check that out. Uh, the first issue here is I have multiplication log of something times something. Something times something is is plus. So that's going to be uh, log of a to the one half plus log of b to the fourth. And uh, then we can bring the exponents down in front. So one half log of a and then four times log of b. Um, when do you know you're done? You know you're done when you just have one item inside each log and uh, nothing else, no powers, no other variables. So this is the most uh, expanded that I can have uh, for this particular expression. Uh, so let's uh, try another one. This time we'll expand, uh, we'll do a fraction. We'll do, I'll do natural log this time. Everything works the same for natural log. Uh, uh, X cubed. And then we'll have the cube root of y squared times e to the fourth. Uh, the first issue here is the uh, subtraction. Uh, the, the, the fraction is going to turn into subtraction because log of something over something can turn into subtraction. This is going to be natural log of x cubed minus natural log of uh, this y, the cube root of y to the second I'm going to write that as two-thirds because the top number is the power, the bottom number is the root when you have an exponent that's a fraction. So y squared under a cube root is y to the two-thirds. And then we still have z to the fourth just kind of chilling there. Um, 
And uh, we can now break this up using the first log property. Two things multiplied together in a log can be rewritten as two logs added together. Minus, I'm going to make brackets here. Do natural log of y to the two-thirds plus natural log of z to the fourth. And I wrote the brackets to remind myself that minus gets distributed to both of these. So when I use that third log property where the exponent comes down as a coefficient, we're going to have three log of x there. I'm going to remember to distribute the minus at this time. Minus two-thirds log of y and then minus four log of z. And I know I'm done because I just have log of x log of y, log of z, nothing else inside those logs besides just the, uh, the single variables themselves. Um, the last thing I want to he do here, this is expand. I've done expanding here. The last thing I want to do is condense, where you basically take something like this and you go back and you smash it all into a single log. So we'll look at that and then we'll be done with this segment. Uh, say I have um, three log of x minus, we'll have a big bracket, uh, log of z plus 5 log of y, and we'll just do this whole thing cubed. So I'm going to smash all that into a single term. Uh, first thing is I'm going to bring this 3 up, make this log of x cubed. Uh, we'll leave the brackets alone on the outside, but inside we'll make this log of z plus, bring that 5 up, so it's going to be log of y to the 5th, just like that. Um, we'll put these together uh, with the first log property, where two things added together can be rewritten as log of uh, those two things multiplied. So it's going to be, this one stays the same cube stays the same, but we're going to have log of z times y to the fifth right there. So just multiply the z and the y to the fifth. Um, this cube is going to be, um, uh, we're just going to, going to leave it there for right now. Uh, we will have uh, the minus, uh, uh, turn this into a fraction. big fraction. We'll have uh, 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 log of x cubed. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just leave this cube off for now. I think it's going to be better to show you this without the cube. So my apologies. I think I'm making this too complicated. Um, it's going to be log of x cubed over uh, z y to the fifth. Let's just let's just leave it like that. That's now finished because uh, I have just a single log. I started with three different logs, and then I just smashed it all down to um, uh, just one single log. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.